the hell is this? Looks like TubeBuddy has a uh, new feature where you can go on someone's channel and see their uh, live social blade. That's pretty cool. I kind of dig that. I wonder what mine is like. Oh. How's it going everyone? My name is BQ and we're going to do another who is in my sub list because I can't think of content. Again, I'm going to try my best to sprinkle in gaming channels comparatively with other channels that I don't have to do with gaming for those that are not interested in that subject. So this one definitely has more of the not gaming channels. I specifically picked that for that reason, but we're starting off with the gaming channel just because I got to pimp out some people on the long ways. So this is Mr. Happy and I don't don't really ever say 1227, which I'm not sure what that is in leet speak. So this guy, Mr. Happy, as he's known on the internet, mostly covers Final Fantasy content, specifically Final Fantasy 14 content. Me being a pretty big MMO junkie back in the uh, mid 2000s, uh, I definitely have a place where I just generally like the genre of uh, MMOs. And when I first tried Final Fantasy 14, it kind of blew me away with everything. It's actually kind of the only MMO that I feel that I can actually totally lose myself and be fully immersed in that uh, world, which is kind of the point of MMOs. Not all of them hit the mark, but for some reason, um, FF14 really did that. He covers pretty much everything Final Fantasy 14 related, and he plays a bunch of JRPGs and other Square Enix games, and of course, other Final Fantasy games. So he's kind of my go-to guy for that on the internet. He's just a swell, all-around nice guy. He, I mean, his name is Mr. Happy, for God's sakes, and I really enjoy his content. Beefy Smash Dudes. These guys uh, cover every everything Smash Bros related. What is, is this really all that they have for their channel? Just uploads and Smash Ultimate tech? No, there's gotta be more. If I cl click on videos, that is a little bit more. Uh, they mostly cover a bunch of uh, crazy Smash Bros uh, tech or uh, weird mechanics that you can do for the game. Um, a lot of them are just kind of gimmicky and just kind of fun, but a l there's also a lot of stuff that is very useful for uh, uh, playing competitive Smash, which uh, I don't like to say that I do, but uh, I guess I technically do. But I like these guys. I don't know what their um, nationality are. I want to say Swedish, but I don't think that is correct. Maybe Finnish, but they're definitely uh, European. Uh, you can definitely tell by their accent. Uh, these guys are pretty fun to hang around. Uh, they really are involved with the community, and I appreciate that a lot. Um, they are also kind of on the cusp of the uh, any kind of new kind of uh, tech that uh, is discovered, and they test it out, and they kind of give you step-by-step -step tutorials on how to do these weird things. And yeah, if you uh, are uh, into uh, Smash Bros, I would highly suggest subscribing to these guys and uh, stay beefy. Abroad in Japan. This guy is uh, one British dude, which I haven't watched his uh, video yet about uh, why he decided to live in Japan. I, I watched uh, like the first couple uh, seconds of it and the intro was basically him saying uh, I moved to Japan on kind of a, a whim to teach English. So that's, I guess, his original reason for moving to Japan. But I can't remember how long he said that he's lived in Japan. It's been like definitely around like five years at the least, but this guy specifically bikes through the entire country of Japan. He does have a production crew that follows him and uh, helps film him. He has some really good drone shots uh, of uh, the countryside and just Japan in general, which uh, if you watch some of his videos uh, when he's cycling, uh, the uh, drone shots are absolutely phenomenal to, uh, to witness. Rather a cheeky sort of guy. Wow, you can actually go to the... I didn't realize that he technically doesn't have too many videos. That's surprising. I, he's been making videos for uh, six years, uh, apparently towards that, according to that. But uh, yeah, I really like uh, his videos. He's uh, cheeky British uh, humor, kind of, um, I don't want to say demeaning uh, humor. It's more along the lines of humor that is uh, kind of makes fun of everyone, but makes fun of himself too, which uh, is very charismatic of him. And just, uh, it's a, a style of uh, charisma that uh, has people uh, that 
draws people towards him, which is uh, uh, very nice. He's a nice man. I really like his content, mostly because you get to uh, see him cycle across Japan, which is uh, uh, kind of a um, uh, exercise-y kind of health thing, which I know he doesn't exactly do it for the health reasons. He just likes biking, I guess. And you get to see a lot of weird Japanese culture and different restaurants and places to visit and just weird, interesting things about Japan, which uh, if you uh, are interested in the uh, country and the culture, uh, I would hi highly recommend this channel. He's uh, a very interesting channel to go watch and just to hang out and just see what is going on in Japan. Fantasy Music World. I don't remember subscribing to this, but uh, I apparently I have been listening to a couple of these recently more um D, D music i mean always been trying to find more music for uh my dungeons and dragons game i kind of don't really like fantasy music that has like a lot of flutes in it i don't know it just seems a little bit too whimsical and fantasy kind of things towards i definitely like um the soundtrack to the witcher games which i personally have never played any of the witcher games but the the background music is really good chris stuckman who I'm pretty certain that he's pretty well known if you're uh, into the uh, movies and uh, review kind of area uh, on YouTube. But uh, this guy reviews movies. He also reviews anime sometimes, very rarely. Um, he also uh, reviews video games, even rarer than the anime. Bottom line, he is a film junkie. He uh, loves reviewing movies. He wants to become a filmmaker. He has made a couple films himself, which is incredible. A unique personality where he has kind of i don't want to say dry humor it's definitely a personality that feels like a mixture of like dry humor uh being a closet and nerd while also being a uh prophilic youtuber so he's kind of has an audience behind him so he has a i don't want to say persona because he definitely feels like it's just him in front of the camera which is a breath of fresh air he's just an interesting guy and i really like his uh reviews on uh, movies i ha i will admit that there are some things i have disagreed on for some of his reviews but uh, in general though i feel like a good stance on movies and film critics and uh, things like that um he's written a couple of books about uh film reviews that have uh, garnered some, uh, uh, um, what do you call it, entries from other YouTubers uh, that are re review films and make films, and even directors and that stuff. All in all, he's a great guy. This is a great channel. He does great, wonderful work. And uh, if you're a film buff like uh, me, then you'll appreciate this channel. Oh boy. Casey Neistat. Now here's another man that needs no introduction to the YouTube space. Heck, I don't even remember when he started YouTube, but he's definitely one of the OG YouTubers. Uh, I won't get into everything about his uh, uh, backstory and how he uh, came from nothing and uh, now is uh, uh, big and famous. Wow, this, this Social Blade thing here is, I feel like it's reducing uh, the channel. But anyways, Casey Neistat, most famously known for his uh, vlogs, he kind of revolutionized the way uh youtubers do vlog styles and uh, to be honest i am definitely one of them who have tried his style of vlogging just because it is so goddamn interesting and the way that he shoots uh his clips of film and how they transition into the next scene and his talking points i can't deny the man <laughs> the man is really freaking good at what he does for vlogging though at the same time it's kind of interesting because for me personally his specific style of vlogging i will really like it's very captivating but i also don't like because at the same time if you've ever watched a lot of or if you've ever watched any of his videos it's very it feels very much like the camera is always on me like everywhere i go there's cameras on me which i kind of don't like that persona if you will not that i'm bagging on casey nice at all i mean he he's very he's a very successful man um just it's just a personal preference that uh while i do like his uh style for vlogging sometimes it's like okay we get it you're, you're famous and you don't have to always make it seem like cameras are always on you but i'm sure that's not really the case that's just his style it's a weird i have a weird like 
love-hate relationship with uh, the man. I still respect him. Absolutely freaking little. I respect the man. It goes without sh without telling that uh, he really is one of the uh, founders and uh, person that has revolutionized YouTube space. And for that, I, I give him credit. Also, it's very interesting to see uh where he goes what he's doing because he's always doing something out of this world something that is would be like super expensive i think one of his uh, most famous youtube videos is like going on a first class like i don't know million dollar first class plane ride trip or something along the lines of that so he's definitely a, a way to see into the life of someone who is one percent that kind of view i guess uh but at the same time it's, he just has a really interesting life to uh, go watch. Cobra Kai, huh? This is weird that they have their own YouTube channel. So Cobra Kai, if you don't know, is a YouTube original show based around uh, a karate kid, obviously. First off, let me say that I love Cobra Kai. Totally not sponsored by them, absolutely not. They did a really bang up job on the first season of Cobra Kai. I'll be honest, I'm not even a huge fan of the Karate Kid in general, but Cobra Kai as just a, a TV show, an internet TV show is incredible the writing the uh, as far as like a, a sequel goes and and in this day and age where um nostalgia is a, a high time seller they did a bang up job with this show it does suck that it's kind of behind a uh, the youtube red paywall but uh if you ever get the chance to watch cobra kai i'd highly suggest you watch it i think i subscribe to them just to give them support there's a lot of channels that uh i don't really watch but i still want to support them so i kind of uh, in a weird way subscribe to them just to give my support to them gas station this is an interesting man uh he covers fire emblem content which is one of my favorite franchises pretty much that's it he goes through um without going all uh ham on uh, what fire emblem is he basically breaks down uh, characters from this video game, and uh, I believe he has a degree in uh, philosophy or psychology or something like that. And he is able to like break down the character's psychology and just kind of talk about the writing for the characters and everything about that. This Canadian dude is uh, kind of my main Fire Emblem uh, YouTuber. I don't I don't really subscribe to a whole lot of people for Fire Emblem, but uh, I like Gast quite a bit, and I even shouted him. Out out in a video of mine uh well probably my proudest video uh, i'll probably put a link right up here um to uh to that video uh where i kind of shout him out about uh, a character in fire emblem but uh yeah i i really like his uh, fire emblem content pro audio files this is a weird uh channel that i subscribe to oddly enough let me check the videos on this channel because uh, he doesn't upload very often it looks like he definitely uploaded a lot in the past it annoys me that he doesn't have any like good thumbnails for these but i just saw one video him talking about something that was interesting about audio since uh i, I really like um sound engineering i went to college for that um so i kind of subscribed to him expecting that i would um be getting more content from him but i guess he doesn't uh upload too much and uh his main content uh happened uh several years ago and the last channel for this episode sorry for uh, alienating the people that don't like video games uh this channel called no clip these guys i recently just found them like maybe two or three weeks ago but these guys oh my god god i i'm so disappointed in myself that i haven't found these guys a long time ago these guys i think it's run by mainly by one dude um but these guys specialize in short documentary videos about video games about the industry uh production just everything that entails the creation of a game from like the voice actors all the way to the original writers and just all that kind of stuff it is fascinating um what little or what uh, videos i've seen from him uh from this channel and i haven't even watched too many episodes uh from uh this channel man the, the production quality is top notch uh from no clip and i would highly recommend uh anyone that is interested in video game production and just the industry as a whole to check out this channel um it's fascinating all right so those are the channels that i am presenting you giving a uh, a lowly scrub shout out so I hope I recommended you guys to something interesting, some cool channels, and yeah, I hope you have a good day and I have no idea how to end this. Weird. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.